Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. So I just wanted to make another video about the Canon Vixia HFR800 camcorder. And I wanted to just show you guys what this uh, accessory I've picked up is for attaching a cold shoe. I've actually picked up two accessories during my recent trip to the US. The first is this Ulanzi uh, claw grip. It's a quick release mechanism, which is extremely useful if you're uh, frequently going between, let's say a gimbal, and an L bracket, and I did find a gimbal that works with the Vixia HFR 800, that is the DJI Ronin SC, but that still doesn't get us over the cold shoe problem. Now I've talked about this before, the fact that this is a decent, albeit budget camcorder, does have an external mic input, but it does not have any uh, accessory shoes. And for those who don't know, I mean, if you're watching this, you probably do know what they are. It's this little, um, standardized attachment you have cold shoes and hot shoes and a cold shoe doesn't have electronics it's just a physical bracket that takes anything with the shoe fitting and that can be you know um, microphones or light stands or less frequently camera monitors but it's kind of essential if you're rigging up a lot of gear to your system now um, I bought two I'm just gonna put this down for a moment it's a bit hard to get the camera level with this sh with this uh, claw grip on it I picked up two when I was in the US. Uh, I would say they're a little bit of a scam in terms of how much they cost. This was the UU rig one, and this was a $10 um, item from, I picked this up on Amazon. It's just literally a piece of plastic molded in, molded in the shape of a cold shoe, and it's got some 3M tape on the back. And I mean, the installation's pretty straightforward. You can see UU rig, you just need to peel off the backing um, and attach it. I didn't do a tremendous job here. Um, I did this in a bit of a rush. This is, this is the impact one, so I still have another one. I might just redo it, or I'm thinking about fitting another one uh, on the side of it. So this guy has these kind of, um, you know, uh, tapered sections on the wings, and I thought that could actually give me a better connection because if you look at the top of the Vixie HFR 800, where you probably the most logical place to to uh, put one of these adhesive mounts on is going to be over the top, but there is kind of a curve to it. So I've seen a YouTube video where a guy uses a metal file and actually sharpens down a cold shoe. That to me seems optimal. I do think it's kind of ridiculous how much these things cost. I think this little two pack was $14. So you don't have a ton to work with. And uh, I do think they're kind of overpriced for tiny bits of plastic with a bit of uh, backing tape that's really all of these things are but they will get you over the hump so this is where I put mine this is the front of the camera here is the back I went for the most forward place I could find that wouldn't obstruct access of the zoom uh, switcher and whatever this um, thing is here I don't know what it is uh, this little slit so I just went a bit ahead of that and this is how it looks from the front close enough to the top that I can put in a shotgun microphone here um, this surface is not a good place to do it because you've got the, the monitor sliding back and forth. I actually thought about doing it on the battery and then I realized what if you change battery. The other place that you might want to consider adding these, there is actually a flat part of the surface. The only flat part of the body on the Canon Vixia HFR800 is this little square uh, just to the left of the lens switcher and to the right of the DC input for charging. So you've got a little, you know, one, two, maybe three inches. And what I might do is stick a second one on somewhere like here uh, so that I could have two different cold shoes. But it, look, it looks a bit ugly. I'm also worried about if you put it in a camera bag, the see things are just going to snap off because they don't look tremendously sturdy. Now, I did try putting on a heavy fixture onto this. I went from this cold shoe to a triple bracket uh, and I had a beefy on camera light and a microphone and it struggled with it. So I don't think this is something you could rely upon to hold a lot of weight. I do suspect it might tear off. So what I am using it for is just the, my most lightweight shotgun microphone and it just does allow me to get that in. So uh, this is what these are. Uh, basically, you know, uh, you can, there's impact make one, uh, UU rig make one. I found these for sale on Amazon. B and H photo video and Anora and Adorama. They all had these. Unfortunately, I couldn't find ones that ship internationally. So, um, 
I perhaps should have bought more, but uh, it is what it is. And if you don't have a cold shoe, but you want a cold shoe, at least it'll get you over that hurdle. Thank you for watching.